Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Water Break. I know it's a little dark here, but I'm G.O. and I'm here with my main man, Mr. No It All. Now, if you were here, you were here for a special privilege. He's going to give his advice to you all people out there who might be on little, little, little betting apps or something. What teams are going to advance this weekend in the wild card round of the playoffs? Up first, we got Mr. Russell Wilson's first home, the Seattle Seahawks. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Versus that Northwest neighbor, the San Francisco 49ers, the divisional game, wild card game, win and go home. Who you got? I got the 49ers, man. I got the 49ers. I don't want the Seahawks to win, period, for personal reasons. So I'm going with the Niners. They got the stronger team, even with the rookie quarterback. So I like their defense. I like their whole offense. So we got the 49ers winning this first round. Can I ask you what the reason for the Seahawks is? It's obvious. It's obvious. <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> I'm a Bronco fan. <laughs> so they sold us a lemon, a lemon cop. So they gave us a huge product. They sold us a lemon, a jalopy. So I'm always going to not like Seattle. The way the Legion of the Boom did, Peyton Manning ain't yet. That double don't like make me like them, so I don't want them to win nothing. So I'm going with the Niners. Let's stay in the AFC. We got the Miami Dolphins versus the Buffalo Bills. Look here. No tour, no chance. Buffalo. Buffalo. Period. Period. Buffalo. Brazil. All right. Staying in the Northeast, we got the New York Giants versus the Minnesota Vikings. Now, I know who I want to win this game. I want the Giants. Um, Sunday night, we got Baltimore Ravens, Lamar Jackson and the crew in the flock versus Cincinnati Bengals. Your boy Joe Burrow with the Gangsta Grill. Who you got? Gotta go with Burrow, man. You know. You got to? Everybody know who seen the show last year, man. My son, Isaiah. You know, he a Bengal fan, man. When they was 3 and 13, Zell was rocking with the Bengals, man. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go with the Bengals, man. They, they tough. They've been on a nice little winning streak, man. They look like they ready to go back to the uh, Super Bowl, man. They, they rough. I'm looking for Chase to have a good game. If Lamar was playing, this would be my game of the week. But since Lamar ain't playing, I'm going to go with the Bengals, man. They squeaked out another Monday night game for the season. We got the Dallas Cowboys. Dak and all them, you know, America's team, them good old boys versus Need the old ass Tom Brady. Need to take his ass home with his wife and kids ass Tom Brady in the bucket. <laughs> but he ain't got that no more. He ain't got that no more. Uh, I'm going with Dallas. I know everybody's going with Tom Brady and thinking Brady gonna pull something out of his hat, you know, and he's never lost to Dallas. So with all that being said, I'm going with the law of averages, you know, it's Dallas time. They're another team that'll reel you in to uh, lay an egg. So I think next week they're going to lay the egg. And I think they're a better team than uh, Tampa Bay. I think Parsons, this is going to be a Parsons game, man. I'm looking for Parsons to uh, ruffle break the feathers, man. And I'm looking for Diggs to get an uh, interception, too. So I'm going with Dallas, man. And I think Pollard is going to be a problem. So I'm going with Dallas. But you said the law of averaging, and that that has been averaging a uh, show up and leave, a, a come and exit. <laughs> but everybody's saying Brady has never lost the Cowboys. So, oh, they putting that little curse on him. Right, right. So I'm he hasn't the- missed a free throw. Man. Right, and every time they do that, man, he been <laughs> for seventeen weeks. Clank, always. He missed the uh, field goal. All season. Oh, my God. He's perfect. Wide right. So, I'm going with Dallas, man. Even though I'm not a Dallas Cowboy fan, 
I'm gonna go with Dallas in this game. Well, that's an it for the um, playoffs. Who did you say you had going to the Poop Bowl again? My I got 49ers, Chiefs. Mm-hmm. 49ers, Chiefs. Yep. Yep, 49ers, Chiefs. I think the 49ers, even with the rookie quarterback, they look real, real good. Um, even though they've been on a long winning streak, and I just like I said, law of averages, but I think they get to the Super Bowl and them Chiefs. Offensively, man, they just devastate, man. They can hit you from, man, they can hit you with any combo. You know, you don't know who they might throw the ball to. And I like the rookie running back. You know, I think I think their defense can keep the, the game steady and keep them in the game. But I like them Chiefs. I got them Chiefs. I got the 49ers. I, I'm kind of liking the Bills and Eagles. I, Eagles fly from time to time. They be flying. I don't know how they be getting there, but they have be getting up there. <laughs> I'm straight. They got think about it though. Like last twenty years, they don't they don't have some Super Bowl appearances. They, they got they got some talent, but I, I they ain't. always pull them out their ass. They're like, what the fuck? They how? All right, all right, I'll take it. I'm not going. I'm not going. <laughs> now talk to the people. Let them know um, your socials. What's up, everybody? You know, check me out, Top of Sports with the Know It Alls. Um, catch me on TikTok, catch me on Instagram, Facebook. I've been dropping a couple of TikToks on my picks, um, a couple scenarios. You know, what's I, the I, TikTok I, name? Jay out of Barber, Jay out of Barber, number one. So you know, I do it all: cut hair, pick sports, talk smack, you name it, I do it. You can find me on Facebook at Open Gym Sports and Culture. Find me on Instagram and Twitter at OG Sports and Culture. And um, follow this channels. Like, subscribe, Narrative Control, Open Gym, Water Break, and um, peace. Later.